Manny, what's changed in the last four games to send you on this great unbeaten run? Um, I think the, the level of hard work that we put in, um, pressing the teams, and I think that now we've um, kind of know the manager's philosophy a lot better now. I think it took us, you know, those weeks of training, um, not necessarily getting the results that we wanted to really um, implement what the manager wants from us now, and I think that's helped us. Uh, we look a lot more organised and everyone knows their jobs and I think that's what's helped us to get the results. You spent a bit of time on the sideline when the manager came in, so how frustrating was it watching being injured? Uh, that's always frustrating uh, when you're injured, but I think more so when you get a new manager coming in because you know you don't want to rest on your past performances, especially when the new manager wasn't there, you want to obviously impress him. So um, it's frustrating, but at the end of the day, you know, I couldn't, con I couldn't control like anything apart from getting back as quick as I can with my rehab and stuff so um, that's all I had to focus on really. And when you have come back you've been playing in a midfield three, a new formation which seems to have been at a turning point. Yeah, um, I like playing in the three, you know, um, I feel like when I play in the three, you know, generally you've got a lot more control in the game and that teams generally can't um, outnumber you in the midfield as opposed to a two but you know there's positives and negatives to every formation but I think the major thing like I said earlier was the fact that as a team, we know what the manager wants from us and we're you know, putting it in practice. Do you feel now that you're quite close to safety? Um, maybe, I guess so. We don't really, we're taking it game by game, to be honest with you. I think we're just happy that you know, we're undefeated in four um, and even though we're unbeaten, we still think we could have probably nicked a few more points as well. So it's good that you know, we're looking forward instead of um, looking behind us, I think, right now. And that's kind of where we want to go. We don't really want to think about, you know, getting to a certain amount of points and then we're safe. You know, we just want to keep on improving and have um, as good a to end to the season as we can. It was only a month ago we were sitting here talking about what would happen if, if the team went down and if there were people's jobs on the line. So you must be pleasing that you're in a much more comfortable position than you were back then now. Yeah, even back then, you know, a lot of times we might lose games by the odd goal and... It was just the fine margins that kind of um, did us in, really. But like I said, now that we've got the manager, we know what he wants from us. We know um, our jobs individually. I think it's made a big difference. And, yeah, hopefully you know, we can save some jobs as well by staying up as well. And for you personally, you enjoyed your season here, how it's gone? Yeah, yeah, of course. I um, really enjoyed it. Not just the season, but, you know, um, moving up to Stoke. Um, enjoyed the area, it's different to London as I always say but um, really enjoyed it and um, I think it's been a good season for me personally but you know I want to make sure that as a team we can end on a high. And tomorrow you'll be hoping Forest Green a team in the plus but you beat Mansfield, you show that you're not phased by anyone. Yeah I think um, like I just said before there's fine margins in this league, there's not uh, many teams that you know say they're head and shoulders above every other team anyone can beat anyone in this league and I think if we apply ourselves just like we did against Mansfield then we can cause another upset and the players seem to have shown a real new desire in some ways in the, in the last few games I mean have you found that as players that something's clicked with you um, I don't think it's just about the desire I think that um, we're a lot fitter uh, the training regime has definitely um, become a lot harder and I think like I said when the gaffer first came in we weren't up to the standard of fitness that um he required for his tactics to work so I think you know it took us maybe a month to get used to the training and because we're a lot fitter it might look like we're more eager to get the ball <clears throat> but I just think that that has a big factor um, in the way the manager wants us to play and press high up the pitch and that you know that's kind of made us have the exciting type of football that we've been playing. There's a lot been going on off the pitch this season what's that been like for you as players? Um, kind of stay away from it you know as players we can only control the results on the pitch and I think you know the fans are always going to be here before and after us so <clears throat> we can't really say anything about what they want for the club and this that and the other you know it's not really up to us we can only perform on the pitch and hopefully you know bring joy to the fans and the club through our performances and results. Sounds like you like the manager to be here after this season as well then? Yeah the manager's been really good um, like I said he's really um, enforced harder training sessions which is good for everybody, you know, keeps everyone on their toes and um, improves us as well as players and nothing more you can really ask for.